So we are going to sit on the edge of the chair. So rather than sitting back, have your hips come to the edge of the chair. Yeah? When you are ready, bend straight spine. Then we're going to have hands out. Inhale, hands up towards the sky. Open up the shoulders, looking up. Exhale, swim the hands down. Stretch your fingertips as further away as possible. Deeply in. And deeply out. The chair is a really good tool if you are not leaning back. So one more in. And out. It's beautiful. We're going to interlace the hands, interlace the fingers. We're going to inhale, straight elbows, arms up. Try to bring the arms behind the ears if you can. And exhale, curl from your neck, upper back, mid back, lower back. Try to touch the back of the chair, hands towards the knees. Inhale, push the knees, push the hands um, beyond the knees, arch the back and coming up, straight arms. Bring the arms behind the ears, feel the shoulders opening. Then exhale, curl from the neck, Upper back, mid back, lower back. Inhale, press the hands beyond the knees. My chest is touching the thighs and slowly rolling up. Straight spine, bring the hands behind the ears, feeling the shoulders opening and exhale, curling in. One more in. Open up the chest, open up the shoulders and exhale, curling in. Release the arm, coming to side stretch, side twist. Inhale, hands up towards the sky. Exhale, turn towards the left side, bringing the right hand onto the left knee. Left hands, grab onto the back of the chair or hook onto the back of the chair and twist. Or you could hold onto the side, just use the chair to help you twist deeper. One more in. Twist the upper back more, feeling the tension release. Beautiful, coming back towards the center. Inhale, hands up towards the sky. Exhale, twist towards the right. Left hand outside of the right knee. Right hand, hook onto any parts of the chair that helps you twist deeper. Making sure you're not leaning back or front, your spine is straight. Deeply in. And deeply out. One more in. And out. Coming back to center, inhale, hands up towards the sky. Interlace the hands again. Exhale, side stretch, bend towards one side. Look up beyond the upper armpit. Both arms straight, press the hands away. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, bend towards the other side. Press the opposite butt cheek down, feeling the amazing side torso opening. Inhale, center. Exhale, stretch. Inhale, center. Exhale, stretch. Last set of our movement. So I'm going to sit on the edge of the chair. Straight legs. So my toes is up, heels on the floor. Inhale, hands up towards the sky, lengthen. Exhale, coming to a forward fold. Press the hips down, lengthen your legs. And you can hold on to anywhere of the legs that you can hold on to. Shake your head no. Shake your head yes. Going deeper, reaching further on your legs, feeling this amazing hamstring stretch. Two more in. And out, last inhale, and exhale. Interlace the fingers here, press the interlace uh, palms towards the feet and slowly roll up vertebra by vertebra. 
spine straight and this time bring the arms behind the ears as much as you can press the hands towards the sky to feel this amazing chest opening beautiful release set two we're going to stand at the back of the chair so you could walk to the back of the chair or just turn the chair around, whatever that works. We're going to step roughly one arm away from the chair. So you're going to be fit hip width distance apart. Inhale, hands up towards the sky. Exhale, hinges from the hips coming forward. Try to have your hands onto the back of the chair. So push the chest away or just walk the feet back. Notice I want the feet to be straight line. So no leaning back, no leaning forward. Press the hands down, feeling the shoulders opening. So your head is now lower than your arms. Press the sitting bone away, lengthen the spine, feeling this amazing shoulders opening. If your hamstring is screaming, you could slightly bend the knees and press the hips out. But not too much, just a small bend, feeling the shoulders Press the shoulders down deeply and imagine there's someone pulling your fingertips in one direction and your hips in another direction. You're trying to lengthen the shoulders and the spine even more. One more breath in. And our micro bend your knees, straight hands up towards the sky. Set two, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, same thing, bend, micro bend the knees, bring the hands onto the back of the chair. This time we're going to press the shoulder, roll the shoulders in and out. So inhale, roll the shoulders in, very micro movement. Exhale, roll it out. Inhale, roll the shoulders in. Exhale, roll it out. Inhale, roll the shoulders in. Exhale, roll it out. Inhale, roll the shoulders in. Exhale, roll it out. Three more. In, roll in. Exhale, roll out. So you are stimulating, lubricating your shoulder joints by rolling. But you're also in a very deep shoulder opening when you are in this position. Two more. In. And out, last inhale, rolling in and exhale out. This time I want you to deeply bend your knees, hands onto the floor if you can. Then straighten up the legs, slowly roll the body up. Roll the shoulders, front and back, front and back. Last shoulder stretch. This time we're going to walk slightly closer to the chair. We're going to inhale, hands up towards the sky. Exhale, hinges from the hips coming forward, but put the upper arm onto the back of the chair. Hands together, bend the elbows. So you are working on the upper arm opening. You should also feel it in your trapeze muscle. The more you can bring your hands to the back of the neck, the more you're going to feel. Press the hips further away. Just do a check for yourself if your legs are straight. Try to either walk backwards or forwards to make sure the legs are straight. Press the toes down. So you are in a one stone with two bird pose where you're feeling a very deep shoulder opening. Also a really good hamstring stretch. Lengthening the spine for two more breaths in. And in and out gently place the hands on the top of the back of the chair bend down coming to kind of like a squat and just let the body hang for five four three two one slowly raising your body up. Set three. We're coming to the front of the chair. You could turn the chair around or just go to the front of the chair. Hands onto the waist, straight hips. We're going to put one feet onto the chair, making sure you don't kick the chair at the, when you're doing this. So inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, just fall forward. 
feeling the hamstring opening. If you want, if this is already strong enough, stay there. If you want to, you could press your hands onto any parts of the chair to help you get deeper. That's a micro movement to pull the left hip back and right hip forward. For five, four, go deeper, both legs straight. Three, two, one, bend the knees, lower down the feet, walk it off. Onto the other side, straight spine. The other feet onto the chair, try to flex the toes so you feel more inhale, lengthen the chest and lengthen the spine. Exhale, fall forward, hinges from the hips, feeling the amazing hamstring stretch. Stay here or touch the hands onto any part of the chair to help you get deeper. The chair is an amazing props because it helps us to assess poses that um, we may not be able to go as deep as we can without the props. One more breath in and out slowly, step it down, walk it off. Coming to a hip opening, walk much closer to the chair, then step one feet up. We are going to open up the knees onto the side, back, onto the side, back. Yeah, if I turn this, it's easier. Like side, yes, back. Feeling, can you feel the hips opening and thighs opening? If you want to feel deeper, you could tiny lean your chest forward, but lengthen the spine, don't curl. You'll be able to feel deeper. So coming in and out, then hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six. If you want to go deeper, bend your standing leg. Five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful, the other side. Step the other feet onto the chair. Do the same five rounds. Open up the knees, straighten. Open up the knees, straighten. Open up the knees, straighten. Open up the knees and stay for 10. Start to lean forward. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. If you want to go deeper, bend your standing leg. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lengthen. Walk the feet back. Inhale, hands up towards the sky. Exhale, hinges from the hips coming forward. Similar to what you have done, but this is called a chair downward dog. So press the hamstring back, lengthen the arms. Holding it here for five, four, three, two, one. Coming, just look at the demonstration first. I'm coming to kind of like an upward dog. I'm going to have my hands turned out, fingers pointing outside of the chair. Then I'm going to walk my feet back and lean forward to open up my chest. So when you're ready, hands onto the edge of the chair, fingers pointing outwards. Slowly coming to a plank first, making sure you don't push the chair away, walk the feet back. Then lean forward and roll the shoulders back. So my... Um, I only have my hands touching the chair, nothing else. Really open up the chest. Everyone roll the shoulders back and open. Look up towards the sky. This should be a really, really good lower back, the whole back stretch. Press the hands further away and lengthen, making sure you're breathing here. In and out. I even feel the release on the front of the... Uh, belly. One more in and out. I want you to bend your knees, step it back and push back into kind of like a downward dog position. We're just going to do three very slow rounds. Watch out for the chair. Turn the hands out coming forward. Inhale, open up the chest, roll the shoulders back, press the hands away, look up. And slow exhale, bend the knees, press the hips back to a downward dog on the chair. Two more rounds or stay in this position if you want to. Inhale, coming forward. 
open up the chest, feeling your chest opening, your back opening, your legs engage and stretch. Exhale, micro bend the knees, press the hips back to forward fold. Last one, inhale, coming forward. We're going to hold it here. Press the hands further away. Roll the shoulders back, head up for five, four, three, two, one. Bend the knees, press the hips back to forward fold for five, four, three, two, one, slowly roll up front to bro, back front to bro, shake it off. Great job. Good job for finishing for day four. High five. Um, yeah, amazing job. Um, we're going to, I haven't decided what to do yet, but for tomorrow, but I'm going to send you guys a text. Let me know how do you feel now. You have got all this trick on the pillowcase, on the wall, on the mat, and on the chair. So let me know how do you feel. If you have any questions, stay and ask. If not, I'm going to see you tomorrow for our last day. Yeah. Bye, guys. Great job. Thank you so much for coming.